Man, I tell you, University Park Public Library is where it's happening when all the kids show up. How many, uh, let's see, what's the schools around here? What schools represented around here? Who's right down the street? What's the name? Creno Moni Middle School. What's your mascot? Comets. Comets. How many comets we got in the house? Raise your hand. Comets in the house? Give a shout out for the comments. What do y'all do? Y'all say woo or y'all say comments or go comments? You say nothing? Okay, comments just go to work. They Panthers and the comments in the house so far. Who else is in the house? The Steelers. From what school? Oh, you like the Pittsburgh Steelers? Okay, the Pittsburgh Steelers represented. All right. What school? And the Bears, Chicago Bears, hometown favorite. Anybody else? What schools? Any other different schools? Is Cornerstone Christian School represented here? Oh, you are. And what are you guys, the Cougars, the Crusaders? Crusaders, okay. Crusaders are represented, Comets, uh, Panthers. Okay, we're going to the back. The Eagles, and where are the Eagles from? Salk Elementary. All right, we're coming away from Salk Trail? Yes. All right, welcome to the house. The Eagles in the place. Who else? Anybody else? Which one is it? Creek Elementary is in the house. What's your mascot? You remember your mascot? Okay, well, we got Creed Elementary in the house. Right behind Creed Elementary is? Moral Bulldog. Bulldogs in the house. Who holding? Is that your sister? She wants to represent. Okay, anybody else left? Before the director of the library, Miss Kelly Nichols. I'm just see here. Hello everyone and welcome to the University Park Public Library. Here at 1100 Blackhawk Drive in University Park, Illinois, 60466. Uh, you can visit our website at www.universityparkpubliclibrary.org and you will find three, these three guests on there. Today, February 18, 2009, uh, we have for Hero, American Heroes and Legends, sponsored by the On You Signature Collection Corporation. Company. <laughs> We have here Ms. Reba Grant. She's a gospel recording art artist, and um, we will have two CDs circulating here at the library. She'll give us a sample today. See, I put on the spot. She didn't know she was singing today. <laughs> and then we have here chess champion, William Auramel. Uh, it takes strategy and talent. <laughs> to be able to play chess, and he won the championship. He also has a book that will be circulating in the library also. Yeah. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Chess Play. <laughs> okay, what's up? And then last but not least, we have Chuck, well, Charles Tobias, Big Chuck we call him, formal football player. Um, I know the kids are gonna have lots of questions for him. Um, he played for a few different teams, I'll let him tell his story uh, when he has his time up. But I would like to thank my, Mr. Michael Jennings, the president, uh, CEO of On You uh, Corporation, Signature Corporation, and he has uh, an American Legends and Heroes. So without further ado, I'll let Mr. Jennings introduce his guests, and we'll hear from them. We'll have questions afterwards, enjoy the refreshments, and of course, raffles. We'll be raffling off uh, chess sets, you know, he's going to teach us some steps or two. We'll raffle off a uh, few CDs for Ms. Reba, uh, Obama books, hats, Christmas, uh, <laughs> old Christmas stuff, and a uh, black history calendar. Okay, so once again, my name is Kelly Nichols. Thank you all for coming out, and let's give our guests a hand. Hey, good evening again to all of you. And let's try that one more time, and this time, let's turn that applause, if you'll stand and join me, and turn that applause around to the back of the room 
to the director and the staff and faculty here at the University Park Public Library. library and you have people that work at the library that care so much about the community that they're always seeking the opportunity to bring to the community events that will not only educate you but inspire you and challenge you to a new level young boys and girls and I want to introduce myself again as she said before my name is Mike Jennings with On You Incorporated I'm the president and founder of On You Incorporated which is celebrating nine years in business uh, on You is a logo-driven signature collection. Um, everything that you have on right now, you put it where? You put it on who? You put it on you. So that's what we have. We have a variety of clothing collections. We're in the merchandising industry. So when you put on one of our garments, you actually, it's called It's On You. So you're putting it on. However, there's a message to our logo-driven signature collection. And the message is, everything you do, it's on you. So the decisions and the choices that you young people make in life, it's important that you stop sometimes, take the time to think about those choices, and try to make the best choices you can. Now, if you've got a dream and you've got a goal, you've got a vision in life, you know who it's on to make that thing come true? It's, it's on, on you. you. It's on you to believe in you first. Okay, don't wait for anybody else to believe in you, but you believe in you first. You have faith to believe that whatever you believe you can accomplish in life, as long as you keep focusing on that goal, follow through on the actions that you believe in, and certainly good things will turn out for you in life. Okay? All right, so give yourselves a hand for being here tonight. All the young people in the house. We got all the different ages in the house and it's certainly a pleasure to be here today with you, and I want all the adults just to simply give the young people an applause for being here. I take a lot of time doing a lot of applause, don't I? See that guy loves the applause and smiles. I love joy. I love applause. I love the fact that we can encourage each other and lift each other up and exalt each other before the Lord. I am a man of faith. I believe that God has brought us together this evening to really enjoy this fellowship and to be to be really inspired and challenged and to learn something new about our history. Uh, I, I certainly appreciate history myself. I love Satchel Paige and, and Walter Payton and um, you know all the great historical people that have gone before us. However, the reason why On You started this event, and we tour throughout the United States, we've been to Canada, we've been to Kansas, we've been to Ohio, We've been to various different, uh, New York, and we've been on the West Coast. And the reason why we started this event is because we have partnered up with various people throughout the community that we would like to salute and applaud their efforts for doing the things that they do to pursue their dream, their passion, and also to share things that will help you young people even uh, be inspired to pursue your dreams as well. So the On You Legends and Heroes, it's called the American Legends and Heroes Tour. And we launched this tour as an effort to just share with you young people, these people that are doing it out in the business marketplace, in the field of music, in the field of sports and athletics. Okay? Uh, today, who we have with us, in no particular order, but I'll start right here with my good friend. I had the wonderful pleasure of um, playing football with this gentleman. Uh, he played for the Minnesota Vikings. How many of you know the Minnesota Vikings? Okay, played for the Minnesota Vikings, played USFL for the Memphis Showboats, also played arena football. How many of you watched arena football or maybe saw the Chicago, who, Chicago Fort Force, or what's the Chicago arena football team name? Anybody know? It's the Chicago Rush. Okay, so if you know something about arena football, it's indoor football league. And um, Chuck Tobias uh, played for the Chicago Bruisers and the Orlando Predators. Uh, I had the wonderful pleasure of playing semi-pro football with Mr. Tobias, and uh, he taught me a lot about being tough in the game, about what it took to build character on the field and off the field. So I'm glad to have him here with us today as our special guest. Thank you, Mr. Chuck Tobias, for being here. Thank you, sir. And then in the middle we have William. Arrow! 
Aramel. Everybody say William Aramel. William. Okay, good job. William Aramel has a new book out. Okay, and I'll tell you a little bit about what the book says. Chess master. Not a beginner, not intermediate, but a chess master who has been a chess teacher for over six years. He was an Illinois high school champion 2002 and 2003 and won the Dinker, did I say that correct, mm -hmm. William? Dinker Tournament of High School State Champions in 2003. <coughs> in 2004, he won the Collegiate Championship, and he also tied against eight Grand Masters. Okay? No, I'm sorry. He tied, well, let's see here. He won two games against two Grand Masters and tied against eight other Grand Masters. So he's just going across the country just putting them down. All right, this includes a draw against Grandmaster Alexander Onashuk. Onashuk, okay, the 2006 United States or U.S. champion and the number 50 player in the world at the World Open Tournament in 2005. The man has beaten a lot of good people. The man is a champion. Let's give it up for chess champion. <laughs> And um, I, I recently met Mr. Aramil, not even personally or in person, let's say that. Uh, I, I met his dad over the phone through another business friend of mine, and William talked with me over the phone one time. And when I told him what it was all about and who he would be speaking before, the answer was yes, automatically. He said, where do I need to be? When do I need to be there? Let's get it going, Mr. Jennings. And I'm glad to have him here without hesitation. Okay, he is still in school too, still furthering his education. So now he's a finance major, finance major, and uh, he's doing well in school. So thank you for being here today. He's going to also tell you about a little known secret about how you can get a scholarship to college through chess. <laughs> So remember oh, to ask that question, because not a lot of people know you can go to college on a chess scholarship that will pay for all your education. All righty. Now, we always save the beautiful, wonderful ladies <laughs> for the most auspicious occasion of introducing my friend also, Miss Reba Grant, who just released her, is this the first? We're getting the first. This is the first musical project released and the name of it is Secret Place. Reba Grant is, uh, we both are members of Cornerstone Christian Center in Chicago Heights. She has sung beautifully for us for years. Okay, And I'm sure the choir, uh, our music director and everybody have been telling her for years, girl when are you going to do your project? When are you going to get it out there? Because everybody was doing projects but we know that she has a beautiful voice. And she has a beautiful spirit, and she allows that spirit to flow through her music. And so we thank God for her music and her ministry, because now it's on CD and everybody can get it. Y'all can get what we've been getting all the time down the street at Cornerstone on Chicago Road. So her CD is available. You can go online. She'll talk more about it. Uh, it is on the epic label of Pure Legacy. Pure Legacy is the label that it's on. That's Reba Grant. Man, there's some cuts on here. Young people, there's some cuts on here. She got some, she got some hip hop on here when she be cutting it. Then they jump in, they be like spitting out them lyrics. Did I say that right, guy? Spitting out them lyrics, she be dropping it. And uh, who's that young man on there? A couple of them, right? Um, Malcolm, keep calm. There are two different rap artists. Two different rap artists on here that just be dropping some lyrics behind her music. So don't think it's just for the adults. Okay, she got some tight stuff on here. So kids, y'all need to get a hold of the secret place. Okay, because it's for both generations, all right? And uh, adults, I ain't scaring you away from it. It ain't all hip-hop, okay? She just jazzy like that, okay? She brings